it was about a year ago, I have the best memory of asking Mike about, like, hey, are we thinking about getting engaged? And his response was, oh yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I want to do it in two weeks. And we were like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> After having two sons, Sue and I were blessed with this little bundle of joy that we named Colleen. I've watched this little curly-haired blonde girl grow up to be the incredible young woman we all know today. Coco is an absolutely incredible person, an incredible friend. Um, I'm so thrilled that you've met Mike at Volo um, after their first date. Her report to me was that he was the nicest person she had ever met. But as I got to know Mike, I thought to myself, there's just something about this guy. I've learned that he's a genuinely kind, caring, and sensitive person. I watched and seen the way he treats Colleen, and as her father, I couldn't be more pleased. been told that one of the things I'm supposed to do is to welcome Mike to our family. Truth of the matter is, Mike, you've been part of our family since the day we met. Beautiful, Colleen. You're beautiful. <laughs> we are not doing the crime. Of you leaning. Mike, thank you for loving our girl with all of your might. Everyone in this room lights up seeing the love and the union that you all have been building for the past few years. Here we are watching this beautiful couple together tonight. They love, support, respect each other, and their love is infectious. To my bride on our wedding day. To my groom on our wedding day. Colleen, from our first date, I have been absolutely overfilled, whew, overjoyed, and over the moon about you. Mike, from day one at Volo, I knew. I will always remember the feeling I had when I got home that night. You would be the most amazing person to do life with. I am just so, so, so happy. I have never been this happy in my life. All of what we have and the love we share comes so easy. You make me feel more loved and cared for than I ever could have imagined. You make me feel home. You are my best friend I dreamed of. You're my dreams that have come true. I feel like I live a fairy tale with such numerous happy endings. Here's to us. I cannot wait for you to be my wife. Love, MP. I promise to only love you more and more each day. I love you with all my heart today, tomorrow, and forever. Love, Colleen. That's great. This is a letter from Mike to his dad. To my dad on my wedding day. Dad, I wish you were here more than anything, but I know you live through me and speak through me with all of the breaths I take. On my wedding day, I want you to be proud and happy, and I want you to dance like you've never danced before. I want you to dance with mom, and I want you to see the love in your eyes whenever you look at her. I have that same look for Colin. You would absolutely love it. I'd like to welcome everyone here today and thank you for attending. 
We're here to celebrate Mike and Colleen's love and commitment. The ceremony is a symbol of the promises they will make to each other as they continue growing stronger as partners. No matter what challenges you face, you'll face them together. I asked them both what they love about their relationship. Colleen said that Mike has the best soul. He has an ability to forgive others that is something that I've never witnessed. When I asked Mike, he said that he loves how they don't have to overthink anything. Colleen, I give you this rank with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Mike, I give you this ring with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Mike and Colleen, I want to wish you both much love and happiness as you begin your new journey. And by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Here we are together in this beautiful venue to celebrate two amazing people. I said this to Colleen in a text message as we we're finishing up work last week. I said, Colleen, you deserve this love so much and that I could not wait to watch her light up this week as she gets to celebrate her fairy tale wedding. You're both incredible people and are blessed to have found each other. Take a look around. You have an army of love and support cheering you on and absolutely thrilled for both of you. that dogs and babies or kids are the best judges of character. Um, so I remember early on, um, you know, you sharing just how, how loved Mike was by his nephews. Um, and then the first time that they came to visit, um, so much fun with my kids and left with the nickname Trophy Boy, as deemed by my, my five-year-old, which again, I'd say like, you know, is, is, is a good sign. For those who don't know me, my name is Doug. I am Mike's best man, childhood friend. We've been through both happy and rough times together throughout the years. He's always been there for me. Colleen, thank you for loving this great guy. And just remember, marriage is like a walk in the park. <laughs> Jurassic Park. This is so far beyond anything that we ever could have imagined. Um, so we are just so appreciative of this group and what they mean to us, this, so thank you for that. Tonight's a night of celebration, and I think we all celebrate together and we all speak together as one to say, let's rock and roll. So tonight, let's fill our cups with love, drink deeply to Coco and Trophy Boy, to a lifetime of happiness. Cheers. Cheers.